my god, you know what I completely forgot? Completely. Mess. So let's go ahead and get into trying out the products. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start out with uh, my face. Now, I do have products from my BoxyCharm that I haven't tried out either. I do want to use those um, as part of the look. Not everything, but I have some primer that I wanted to try out and um, some other things that I can use just as getting ready to use the concealer and the lipstick. So, um, let me go ahead and start out with the primer. So, the primer I wanted to try out from BoxyCharm was the uh, No Problem Primer. So my face is already, I washed it, I put my serum and my lotion, um, so my face is nice and prepped and hydrated hopefully. I'm going to take off my glasses so I can't see <laughs> if things are clear, sorry. So this is from the Touch Del Sol. I can't tell if this is clear so I hope it is. Um, so it does have, actually I'm going to put my glasses on for now until I put it on. So it does have a little pump there, as you can see, if you will pump out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Putting this on my face, I do smell something on it. It does have a slight fragrance, so I'm hoping that does not irritate my face. Is I can feel a little bit of tingle right here already um, but I think we're good okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get into my foundation um, so I'm gonna be using the Maybelline uh, let me get my glasses on here so I can see make sure to focus my Maybelline Superstay full coverage um, foundation this is a 24 hour foundation and this is in the color classic ivory um, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I'm going to be using my makeup sponge from Real Techniques. I love this one. I've been using it forever. It's nice and soft. It does have a little slant. I think I am looking a little bit pale. Uh, let me see. I should probably zoom you in a little bit. There we go. Um, yeah, I think I'm looking just a little bit pale, but with the bronzing, hopefully that'll um, even it out. All right, so now let me take this off. Let me go ahead and go in with the Smashbox foundation I mean foundation uh concealer I had to read it to think about what this was concealer I try this I'm gonna put this under my eyes oh this is a little bit more um, warm color as opposed to the ivory the foundation was just a cool and this is more warm so maybe this will help out um I don't even know if I should be putting all of this on first or if I should put a little bit at a time. Um, I'm also going to put some more here. I know this is like weird, but like little spotted area where my rosacea is a little bit red and I feel like it's peeking through. I feel like it looks okay. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Um, there, so you can see. Take off my glasses. But there is the concealer on there on my face. I hope it looks okay. I hope I'm in focus because I cannot tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face already because uh, I don't want that to get too um, crazy. I'm acting like I know what I'm doing here, guys. So I'm going to be using the Fit Me uh, from Maybelline 
in the color medium and I'm gonna go in with my brush these I got from Amazon they are nice and soft I really like them so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face here so let me see or at least where I put the on the areas that I did the concealer actually gonna switch out mirrors I really like the mirror from the Tarte um, palette that I got from BoxyCharm oh there we go so I'm gonna go ahead and bronze with uh, a new product to me um, it is the Wet n Wild color icon bronzer in the color Ticket to Brazil Ticket to Brazil cute little leaf on it or like a palm leaf so cute. I love when the packages or the sorry the products have cute little designs on them. But then it makes me not want to use it and mess up the pretty design. I think that looks good. So awesome with that one. Now I'm going to go ahead next and I'm actually going to go into the um, Cover FX palette that I got from BoxyCharm as well. This is a Perfector Face palette in medium deep. So, um, <laughs> that's a little dark. Ooh. Well, <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and see what this does. I'm. <laughs> oh, this is really dark. Well, <laughs> I look oh uh, crazy. Go in with my blending brush. I mean my blending sponge here. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Again, I don't know. I feel like this looks really harsh in the camera, although I can't see. But I feel like this is like really. I don't know. I'm not used to it. But um, there's also a blush in here. I'm going to go in with the same brush I used to set my concealer um, because when I set my face, I'm actually going to use this one. From Moda. This is the one I got from BoxyCharm as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this. Oh, I got powder all over me. I'm not sure I know what I'm doing with the blush because I don't blush very much at all and I'm not sure how dark this is gonna look. Oh! I was just gonna go in very lightly. Oh. Okay, I wanted to be light-handed with this. I really don't know what I'm doing. I normally don't blush. Ooh. <laughs> and this is why I don't blush because I generally don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna just go on with my handy dandy um, blending sponge or makeup sponge again. I normally don't blush because um, the red from my rosacea is there anyways. I want to remove the red and then I'm putting red. So I don't know. I normally don't blush. But I thought for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. In the Glow Up. The color is Glow Up. And these are the Shimmering Swan. Um, one. I'm going to go ahead and use the little Moda brush that they gave me. Um, two as well. It's part of the set from the boxy charm um so they're real pretty i do like the see how this highlight works do, 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 do. i don't think highlight there's such a thing as going too heavy handed i can't even tell um i just think you're just supposed to go for it right this brush 
brush is nice. It's nice and soft and uh, very light. So it's easy to go light handed with it if you're not like really wanting to be heavy on the highlight. But it's also good to kind of layer up the highlight. And um, yeah, I'm just getting used to it because it's kind of fluffy and real um, soft, you see, like. So it is, like I said, good to be real light, but I'm going to go ahead and just go with my finger because I feel like uh, we need a little boop here. Um, yeah, I can't tell if, I guess we are, right? I can't, I can't see, I'm blind, <laughs> but I think we are. I'm going to kind of pat it on my finger a little bit too and see. Like it's not too much and you can layer it up because um, some people don't like a whole bam of highlight. I'm going to put my glasses on now so I can see if I look <laughs> as good as I think I look. <laughs> Next I'm going to go ahead and go into my eyebrows. I don't get too intense on my eyebrows either. I don't know. They're thick enough as they are. I just like to fill them in a little bit. Make them look a little bit more filled in. Um, so I'm going to be using the billion dollar brow universal brow pencil that I got from BoxyCharm as well so um, let me go ahead and do this really quick I've done my brows Again, I don't like to go too much into them because they're thick enough as they are. I just like to fill in some of the little gaps that I do have in there and that I notice. So my brows are done. Um, and so the last thing I'm going to do, which I should have done first, is my eyeshadow. I'm going to go very simple. I'm actually just going to use my Wet n Wild palette. Go in with a little bit of the browns. Uh, maybe a little bit of the red. Uh, it's just something simple, nothing too much because um, mostly I wanted to try out the Smashbox concealer and the lipstick, which we haven't gotten to yet. So really quick. Again, these brushes, I got them um, off of Amazon. They're from Do Care, I think is what they're called. I don't know if you can see that. They're nice. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this real quick. Again, I'm just going to go into... Um, some of these colors here, just the brown and the reds. Um, and that's it. So I'll be back after I do my eyes. Nothing too crazy. And there we go. And I think what I'm also going to do is take that treasure again and just go over the top of my brow bone too. Let's give that a little bit more of a highlight. Now, these Tarte shadows, eyeshadows, this palette is also good for a highlight. Uh, I was going to use this one originally, but I wanted to um, use the Pretty Vulgar, which worked out pretty good. I'm just going to tap whatever excess is on the top of my nose and on here as well. Not like I don't have enough. But yeah, there we go. I'm done. Finally, um, the lips. So I've already prepped my lips with um, using a lip scrub from Wet n Wild um, called the Perfect Pout Lip Scrub in Watermelon Pastique or Pastique or Pastique. So here it is here. This is so good. It smells so great. It's awesome. I love it. So now what I'm going to do, 
And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in with the, I lost it, there it is, the Glossy, the Gloss Angeles Lip Gloss from Smackbox, from Smack, Smackbox, from Smashbox, Smashbox in the color Beachy Key. Here you go. So there we go. Mwah. This was really nice. I do like the color and I love the gloss. Now, like I said, it felt sticky doing the swatch, but actually wearing it, it doesn't really feel sticky. Even going like this, it doesn't feel sticky. It does feel nice. It is light, like I don't feel heaviness on my lips. And it is pretty and I do like the glossiness of it. Let me go ahead and zoom you in here. What do we think? I like it. And I like the color because it's a nudie color. It's such a good color that can go with anything. And I think I kind of did pretty good matching the eyes. I didn't even think about coordinating it. <laughs> yeah. Let me oops, zoom out. Um, so I almost forgot the mascara. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara that I got from my Boxy Charm. Um, so I'm going to go ahead first and I'm going to curl the eyelashes. So I've curled my eyelashes and now I'm going to go ahead and go on with the mascara. Um, disclaimer, I'm not very good <laughs> at putting on mascara. I normally get it everywhere, so let's hope I don't. Um, let me see here. I normally have problems with other ones. I'm gonna do, ooh, I almost hit myself. <gasps> I don't really have problems with wands um, doing a good job or like being very um, clumpy and then I have to clean them off. This one is actually doing really well. So here is the complete look. I hope that you guys enjoyed my video. If you liked what you saw today and you enjoyed it, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button so that you are subscribed to my channel. And while you're at it, click the little bell so that you are notified anytime I update or upload a video. Since I don't have a consistent day that I do upload, like every such and such day, you'll probably want to hit that bell to be notified when I do upload a new video. If you're interested in seeing my past BoxyCharm unboxings, so you can see when I received some of these great products that I tried out today, uh, I will put the link here in the little info card so that you can check those out. Again, thank you so much for watching and staying till the end and sticking it out through this craziness. And I will see you next time.